Given there aren't too many videos of the inside of an SW900 um, LCD display, I thought I'd uh, show you mine. Uh, inside here you can see an area where it's fried. The situation was I was playing around with some of the parameters having just built this. I've got a, a 1500 watt motor and a 20, a 48 volt 20 amp battery with the controller on the rear pannier as a kit. Uh, obviously the battery came separate. Uh, an SW900. Uh, the bike is a 29 inch wheel giant talon. Uh, pretty beefy bike. Uh, by the time I put it all together it was a fast bike. My kids were out on it, I couldn't keep them off it. Um, I've got a headlight there which has got an LED in it, battery operated. Uh, I've got a um, cable brake on the front and uh, can't see it there, hydraulic on the back which gives me a bit of a problem with the fact that I can only put one kill switch on the front which is cable operated. So I've got the gear, the cable there. But returning back to the LCD, um, not knowing much about e-bikes or parameters, I was just fiddling around blind until I found a um, instruction leaflet on the web. I was going through it and I changed a few settings here and there. It was set up for a 26 inch wheel. Uh, whereas I needed 29 inch and you'd think given that I'd ordered a 29 inch hub motor it would have been set up but looks like they just throw any old controller in and don't bother uh, tuning it for the bike. Uh, I noticed P14 uh, was at 12 volts and I thought a uh, 12 amps sorry whereas this system has a 20 amp battery I thought oh perhaps I should put it up to 20 nothing untoward happened um, my son went out for a ride on it did about 10 miles came back the next morning i fired it up and i heard a electrical kind of burning sound it had an electrical burning smell which came from the front not the back so i assumed it was the lcd looking up i got an, uh, an error 10 an error 10 usually points to something wrong in the uh, lcd display I opened it up this afternoon, very difficult to open because obviously to a certain extent I'd uh, heat welded it closed from the inside. But that shows you what's on the inside of the uh, LCD. If you want to poke around, that should give you some idea. In fact I can still smell some of the electrical burning smell, PCB burn. I've got a new one on order, so I'm just going to do a straight swap, not bother looking into that to see what the issue is. It looks pretty well fried in that corner in totality. Okay.